Okay guys, <clears throat> I want to show you my uh, mobile hunting setup. Um, it's the first interview I've done this year. Uh, I did go out the first day, but I didn't have much luck. We did see a few deer, but it wasn't when we were on stand. Um, I have my GoPro going here. I'm going to give you a little tour of my hunting setup. I do all self-filming, so I, uh, I have it down to a science now. It makes it easy to carry in and out. I get set up. This set probably takes me about anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes to get set up. Um, right now, I'll give you a look at the, my camera and my camera arm. I use a Sony Handycam. It's a uh, CX-110. Um, I also bought, if you can see back there, I, d I bought the, uh, it's called the Sony Remote Commander. And you have to have that for film and hunts because you only have one hand to move. So you're going to have to be able to move the camera arm. And it's too hard to hit the buttons on the camera. They're too small. Um, right here we have the Hunter Cam Cradle. It's the original model and you can kind of see this is the the mount itself. This is the camera arm itself and it does come already with the uh, with the swiveling head. The back here this was a separate piece and I actually bought this. This straps right around the tree and has a ratchet strap to keep it tight when you hunt a lock on stand, you need this extra arm here, right here, because it sticks out far enough that, you know, you can have total reach around you. So I can even get the camera all the way around my body if I have to shoot off my left side. Um, over here, I have my bow hanging, and you notice that on that, I have it far enough away from the tree that just eliminates movement. Um, I have my climbing sticks down here. I also have lone wolf gear, but I don't like to leave that in the woods because it costs too much money. So uh, I use that whenever I have to just pack in and out. Um, the stand, same thing, just stands that stands that you're going to buy at, uh, at your local Dick's or sporting goods shop. But they do the job. I mean, as long as you set them up straight, they usually stay pretty quiet. Every now and then they'll creak, but um, it doesn't happen that often. Let's just hope it doesn't happen when a big buck comes. But uh, yeah, so that's my mobile hunting setup. Uh, I do take my quiver off. I hang that on a tree. Um, right here, you can actually see what I have there. That's my GoPro, and I put that above me. And um, it's a three series, uh, or a three arm series, um, tree arm, and it's something that. Um, it's just a separate arm. Like I said, it's not very expensive, but it's, it does a good job of holding the GoPro far enough away that I can have a second angle because I like to do that whenever you guys see where I'm shooting, what I'm doing, whenever the deer walking around. Um, finally, a big thing that is uh, very important is the GoPro wrist bracelet. Okay, and you can kind of see this is the uh, Wi-Fi backpack remote and I bought this for the GoPro and what that does all I have to do anytime I think a deer is coming I basically just turn on my GoPro camera right from my wrist and I don't have to move you know I like having a second arm but anytime a deer is coming if I have to turn all the way around and turn on my second camera you know it's too much movement you'll scare the deer away so having this on my wrist is nice it's extra money but like I said it's worth it if you're gonna take it uh, serious hunting um, and self-filming at the same time. It's very, it's very challenging, but it's definitely worth it. It makes it uh, a lot of fun. And plus, like I said, if you're not shooting deer, it's fun just to film them and just try to get some footage. So, so that's my mobile hunting setup. Give you one more quick look of everything. And that's what we got. Let's hopefully shoot a big buck tonight. I hope it's not too hot. It's already, it's October 3rd and it's 73 degrees. That's not too good. We'll see. I also have my hunter safety system on. You can't, uh, you can't climb a tree without one of those on. I actually like to wear mine underneath my jacket so this way the, the vest doesn't show but I like the vest because I use the pockets actually underneath my jacket. And I also bought the safety lines this year. Uh, it's the the safety rope that goes all the way from the bottom of the tree to the top and I've never felt so safe climbing. I mean every 
um, almost every stand that I have, I have one of those on. And it's nice just to hook in at the bottom and slide it all the way up to the top. It just makes it a lot more comfortable climbing the stands, especially if you're hunting on a wet day where your ladders or steps are wet. So I highly recommend them. If you guys have any uh, questions or want to know how I do anything or set up, you know, leave a comment below and like I said, I'll answer you back and if you want I can even possibly do a demonstration video, maybe a time lapse of how I put my setup together and you know, how long, I mean like I said, it takes 10 to 15 minutes but it's it's down to Norton now where I try, I have an order and a, a process in which I do it and I always do it the same, this way I never forget anything because it is a lot to remember, it can be quite a bit to remember if you, um, you know, forget this, forget that, it, it makes things, it almost ruins up the whole setup, so, like I said, it's, uh, it's definitely worth it, but, um, feel free to comment below, ask any questions, and I'll, I'll walk you through it, and maybe you guys have some tips for me, like I said, I'm always open to suggestions, if you want to, uh, share, you know, something that might work better for you, I'll give it a shot.